Hello, I've made some interesting discoveries about French Baroque style related to the Leclerc Sonata that I'm practicing. And um, one idea I, I had before I <laughs> got more information and read more about it is um, that um, it is influenced by ballet dancing like um, Lully and um, Ludwig um, the 14th, the Sun King, um, and Baroque dancing is um, very interesting from the poise point of view, because uh, the French or the Baroque dancers, they are very balanced and oriented and their upper bodies are always uh, kind of, um, they carry them, they are not uh, moving around as much. And then their feet are doing all this jumping up and uh, very intricate uh, movements with uh, their one, they're standing on one leg and the other leg might move in all kinds of intricate patterns. Um, it is uh, very fascinating. Also it is uh, springy and um, the, the downbeat is actually moving up, springing up. So, <laughs> that's, um, so my idea of Baroque, particularly French Baroque uh, playing would be um, uh, that it was, um, had this intricate little notes like also lots of ornaments that have to fit into the structure of the pulse and the rhythm and uh, the other thing is of course um, Ludwig the 14th uh, was all about um, splendor and uh, gorgeous I don't know, <laughs> everything, <laughs> food and fabrics and <laughs> I don't know, just the, the whole lifestyle was full of splendor and color gold and these kind of things. So um, it should have this kind of grandeur also. And um, then I learned from Jennifer today uh, for these little uh, fillers, these little <laughs> intricate ornaments and little notes to play them very lightly and then have the emphasis on the one course. And then I, um, I found an interesting article, I, th I think uh, it was online, but I think it was originally in String Magazine and they had all these um, uh, scientific facts, <laughs> proven facts about Baroque, French Baroque playing. One of them was um, that uh, they would not do two up bows in a row. I mean, of course, they have the rule of the down bow, like the, the main beat always has to be played in a down bow. That's what uh, Lully invented to have um, uh, homogeneous bowing in the violin sections, which was very unusual at the time, it was his invention. And uh, he would not actually um, play down, up, up, down, up, up, like we would in a, in a menuet by Bach, like yum, bum, bum, dee, bum, but he would dum, 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 dee, dum, dum, dee. So he would have two down bows, but across the, um, across the bar line and um, yeah what else um, also something that um, they would hold the brock bow like this that's what I also <laughs> I didn't know that it, it, it related to French Baroque but I, I had this idea I got this idea from uh, another video uh, lately and uh, the, the consequence is that the bow will not move off the string 
with the one exception at the frog. You can lift it at the frog, but you can, can't lift it at the, um, at the um, anywhere. So you know, no, no spiccato playing and also no really um, uh, pausing at the tip. So they would play. Okay, so the up bow is not very refined, while well, the down bow is not very refined, but the idea is to have um, um, a full start in the down bow, then lighten at the, um, at the tip naturally, and then connect the down bow, the up bow. So. Then one could um, lift at the frog. And then an, another rule was uh, to connect, really to connect uh, uh, small steps like in a scale and have um, and separate uh, between uh, higher, uh, between larger intervals like an octave, of course. So um, putting all this into practice. Ah, yeah, and then um, I. I, I learned that um, Leclerc actually, um, his wife was, um, uh, uh, how do you say that in, in, uh, in English, a note, uh, notenstecherin, like uh, she did um, uh, printing of uh, musical materials, of sheet music, and uh, I found on, on the, um, Petrucci library, the original, uh, of course, an, 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 um, um, how do you say, a facsimile of the original ed edition. So I could also see there are their slurs and there are their no slurs. So my own edition, of course, a printed edition is uh, a modern romanticized edition, so I have now better information <laughs> how to slur and not to slur. Also, um, there are also in indications where to ornament. Uh, it's most, mostly just a plus signs, so there's no indication about what kind of ornament to use, but uh, I was happy to see that my modern edition had all the ornaments in the same place <laughs> as uh, this one. So I've gone through the first half again and um, came up with all kinds of uh, other ways how I want to play it and I'm going to present that for you now. I will have to look at the sheet music, I think, because otherwise from memory I will just go into the old systems. I should separate because it's a large drum and also I don't think that they wanted to hear a, a slide. <laughs> so let's see how to do that again.
کردند Okay, that's it for today and talk to you soon. Bye for now.